What's up guys? Today we're gonna be testing out the 21 Husqvarna TC250 versus my 22 KX450. Um, this is actually my race bike. This is what I was planning to be racing for the Pro Nationals, and I still might. We don't know yet. There's a lot of options up in the air right now. Um, some spot, sponsor opportunities and some two-stroke opportunities, and then my Cali. So there's a lot of options. This bike I've had for a good while now. Um, it's got my Evo suspension on it that I'm very comfortable with and I like. I spent all day yesterday trying to get this bike set up and dialed in for a video that I filmed yesterday, my first impression video. Um, I'll leave a card right here so y'all can see that video first impression. And I just go through kind of how to set up your TC250. Um, and a lot of that probably applies to the other Husky models because this bike actually has the 10 millimeters, I believe is what it is lowered suspension from Husqvarna. Um, so I kind of walked y'all through what to do to help set that up a little bit, kind of my impressions on how I feel about that stuff and everything else. But anyway, so today is gonna be all about what bike can I feel more consistent on, more comfortable on, and overall faster on, right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna do some motos and some lap times I'm gonna do a couple of 15 minute motos and see how I feel throughout the duration of a 15 minute moto on each bike. I'm also gonna do some sprint laps and see which laps end up having a faster lap time. And then I'm gonna kind of break it down. What bike more more comfortable on? So like, <clears throat> just cause you're fast on something doesn't mean you're comfortable on it. You could be super fast, but you feel out of control, like you're gonna die the whole time. And another bike might be a little bit slower, but you feel like just comfortable and you can sustain that for a long time. You don't feel like you're gonna die all the time. So I'm gonna break all that stuff down for you guys. So make sure you watch the end so you can see my outcome on which bike I feel is better or worse and where things are better, where things are worse. we came off the track with the tc250 i did i don't know it's probably like a 20 minute moto i did right off the bat um so with it i feel like because of the lack of torque compared to a 450 so i'm not saying it's low on torque it's a very good torquey motor for a 250 um if you put a pipe on this thing i bet you this thing would just scream so this thing is completely bone stock uh but coming out of turns because of the lack of torque compared to a 450 i feel like it's just so much easier for me to hold on to the bike and really just run the bike through the track I got a little bit of arm pump here and there. Um, I've always had arm pump issues. If y'all are new to my channel, you don't know. Um, I've had arm pump surgery. I've done other things. I'm still kind of like look, diving into ways to get rid of arm pump for all you guys. I feel like the bike's just easy. It's nimble, it's easy to move around. I can do kind of whatever I want with things. It's very easy to toss around in the air. So it's an easy bike to ride around the track. Now the downside to it, this bike has a lower suspension, right? So I feel like when I'm landing on the jumps, it's like the bike just doesn't have as much movement as I would like for it to have as compared to a bike with normal travel suspension. Now I'm gonna go out on the 450 and I'm gonna see what I feel like. The track was a little bit greasy on the 250, so as the day goes on, the, tra the dirt should be more consistent in comparison. But I'm gonna go on the 450 now and see, because with greasy condition, normally I'd get arm pump real quick because it's harder to hold the bike control, but I, I stayed pretty good throughout the whole moto. So now I'm gonna go out on the 450 where the track is not as greasy and see, am I going to be able to not get arm pump so fast? Am I gonna be able to push all the way through the moto? What am I gonna be able to do different or better worse on the 450 than the 250? <laughs>
the, the difference I felt from bike to bike was so much crazier than I anticipated, honestly was. So like, everyone knows four strokes have more engine brake, more engine inertia, right? So like, they're gonna be a lot more front heavy in the air when you're riding them. Well, when I got on the 450, I was like thinking like, my brakes are dragging, like it was, but they weren't, it's just, I forgot the difference. I haven't ridden my 450 in a few weeks now. I've been on two strokes. So it took me about four laps to get to where I felt like I could ride the 450 again good. And then by the time I came off track, I probably was on the track for almost 20 minutes or so. And by the time I came off the track, right here in my hand was killing me. Like I've been, just, I've been riding Cowies for the last over a year. And it's the bike I rode in the last two rounds of the Pro Nationals this year. And I've been riding it this whole time between then and now and just in the last couple weeks I've been on two strokes and it is crazy how much I'm actually preferring and enjoying the two stroke right now so I didn't see that coming I honestly thought I've been going 450 and like wow okay yeah I like this power it's faster it's pulling harder the two strokes fun but this bike honestly 450 pulls harder obviously the 450 more torque four stroke everything we all know that right but so it's a lot faster in the straight lines but I feel like in the corners, I can just maneuver the two stroke so much easier. I'm more nimble on the bike, I'm moving around. I'm a lot more free feeling in the air. On the four stroke, on the 450, I just feel like, I feel like I'm like locked on the bike and I, I have to work harder to manipulate the bike and move it around and everything. On the two stroke, I really feel that. Like I'm like, man, I can just move this thing around, scrub, whip, do all these things. Right now, I'm thinking, I'm racing two strokes for the outdoor nationals. That's my mindset right now. Like I'm enjoying it that much. I think I can perform better on the two stroke than the four stroke as of right now. It's gonna take more time, keep that duration, less arm pump on the two stroke than the four stroke. I was getting arm pump on the 450. It wasn't crazy. I think my arm pump's getting a little bit better. I've been riding more often lately. <laughs> ended up enjoying the TC 250 more believe it or not um, so and I can't believe that because I love my cow I tell everybody man these cows are sick and I, I still believe that I love the bike it's a great bike but I don't know if it's just like a mental thing right now it's something like I'm having that like it's a phase I don't know but I'm really really liking this TC 250 just two two strokes in general really um, I don't like the suspension on these things the lower suspension I'm not a fan of that at all but I don't know, leave a comment down below. What do you think? Should I race a two-stroke at the Pro Nationals? If I'm on a 250 two-stroke, I have to race a 450 class. So my plan was to race 450 class anyways. But if y'all think it's something I should do, leave a comment down below. If you think I'm an idiot, let me know below. But let me know what you guys think if you like the video, if you wanna see something different. If there's more two-stroke stuff you wanna see, more four-stroke stuff you wanna see. Maybe you want me to stop doing YouTube in general. I don't know. Let me know. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a comment down below. Tell your friends. Please share it. Hit the notification bell. I got all kinds of videos and ideas coming out here in the near future. So I'll see you guys in the next one.